Hi, this is Chris with Sonoma Partners with another installment in our video series entitled What's New for CRM 2011? Now, today I want to talk about some of the form improvements that have been made, specifically around form navigation and role-based forms. Right off the bat, a big improvement has been you can access different views for any entity right from the left nav bar. So if you hover over it, you get a little arrow, you can click on that and get a menu. From the menu, you can create a new record, access any of your views, or even see some of the accounts that have recently been visited. Okay, we'll go to my active accounts. And from within here, a nice feature has been I can search on the records in my view. Uh, I can go ahead and open up one of the records. One of the main differences you'll notice on the form is there's no more tabs. They've converted to a flat form user interface and moved all those tabs and sections over to navigational links on the left hand side. So from here you can drill into any one of the form sections and collapse it to make it a little more readable if you'd like. And then on the right hand side you have the capability of clicking a drop down list and seeing all the records that were in the view from where we came from. So you can see all the different records in here and then from here you can also go up and down to different records sequentially. If you make a change to one of these records and then try to navigate off before saving, it'll yell at you. And we can save a change and then move on to the next one. So that's going to help cut down a lot of different clicking and drilling and opening of different forms um, and make me way more productive. So another nice enhancement is the creation of what's called role-based forms. Previously, you always you had one version of the form and everybody had to use it regardless of their security uh, clearance. And now you can create as many different versions of the form as you'd like and assign it to different roles, different security roles. So in my uh, case, I have access to all the different security roles, so I can see all the different forms. But you could have this form pop up, which is an alternate version of the account information form, pop up for different users. So you could do quite a bit with this. As you can see, this is a whole different form and in the next installment of this series, we're going to dig into some of the uh, form control enhancements. But, um, you know, this is a really nice feature, this role-based forms, because then we could have maybe a form that has less information, maybe hide some of the personal information for some of my lower-level salespeople, or even maybe strips out some redundant information that some people don't need to see. And so then they're not going to know any different. It's just that when they log in, they're going to get that alternative version of the form and they'll be much more productive or not even realize the difference. So in conclusion, between the navigational improvements in the forms and the role-based forms, your users are going to be much more productive, um, spend less time clicking and digging for the information they need to find, and you'll be able to ensure that they're only seeing the forms that they need to see with the information they need to see and nothing more to keep them focused and keep um, sensitive information secure. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to talking to you again soon.